Well, that looks great, Steve. How much more have you got to do? Oh, that was the last nail. You're kidding! Yep. That's terrific. Then the performance area is done. Now, if we can keep on the schedule, then we just may open on time. Uh, listen, guys, could you move the piano right now, please? Great, thanks. Once we know where the Chichilla contest is going to be held, go over to VLE, arrange for TV coverage of the final selection. Are you getting all this down? Mm hmm And then once we know where the Chichilla contest is going to be held, go over to WVLE and arrange for TV coverage of the final selection. And are you getting all this down? Come here, I want you to meet somebody. Laurel, Miss Chapin. <laughs> Hi, Mark. Hi, how do you do? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Uh, you guys can take five. Okay. So... What do you think? I think that's a very groovy looking piano. I mean, does it sound as good as it looks? I'm not talking about the piano. What do you think of a club? Oh, if the place is going to be ready for the chinchillas, I'll love it. The chinchillas. What do the chinchillas have to do with anything? Are you ready to open in a week? Lord willing and the creek don't rise, yeah. Good! Good! I want you to meet my new assistant, <laughs> Jinx Rollins. This is Laurel Chapin. Hello. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. Excuse the mess. No mess, no mess. It's going to be just gorgeous if it's ready for all those little girls, those cheerleaders. <laughs> Did you say calls. Laurel Chapin? Mm hmm As in Trent Chapin? Yeah, he's my brother. Do you know him? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I met him in Atlantic City. I worked as a photographer at the Crown Casino Hotel, and that's how I met Trent. I see, I see. So how do you like Landview? You know, I really think I'm going to like it here. It's peaceful, and the people are nice. And I was ready to get away from the uh, atmosphere and lifestyle of Atlantic City. Mm. <laughs> Hello, is anybody home? Hello? Dear Michelle, went out jogging. Be back soon. Just wait till they see this when they come in. Wait. Mm -hmm. Ah. <laughs> I feel so normal. I even look normal. Rinaldi residence, Michelle speaking. Michelle. Daddy? You're right, my sister is in Landview. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. Right. Okay, I've got some business to attend to, but I'll be back at the yacht in a couple of hours. Well before you arrive. Okay, see you then. advertising uh, where I am. Don't worry, nobody's here. Where are you? Hey, never mind me. Now, what about you? What are you doing in Landview? What are you trying to pull? I'm not trying to pull anything. I came here because I saw an article about your trial in the newspaper. You belong in your school, not in Landview. I am in school. I mean, I'm enrolled in the Landview school. I'm staying with this family, the Rinaldi's. Oh, oh, I see, I see. So you just decided, oh, this is a nice place. Uh, maybe I'll hang around here a while. Daddy, would you please let me explain? I'm listening. I came here, and you weren't at the trial. And then they wouldn't let me leave. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Who's they? The police. Oh, great. Daddy, are you mad at me? Well, you don't do what you told, Michelle. No, I said, I said for you to wait for me at that school until I could get you. Well, do you want me to go back there, then? No. Are you going to come and get me? Please. Please. Not now. Oh, look, uh, Michelle, you stay put in case I need to get in touch. But 
it, Daddy! Can you hear me? And don't tell anyone I called. Daddy! Daddy! I miss you. Oh. Hi! Oh, great, you're home. How was it? How was your first day? Anybody call? Uh, yeah, no, no, nobody called. Yeah, no, yeah. <clears throat> oh. So come on, tell me, did you have a good time? Was it all right? It's, it's fine. So, yeah? did uh, anybody call? Um, no, no, it, it was the wrong number. The wrong. The mysterious wrong numbers are beginning again, and I bet I know who it was. It was Dorian. She was calling to see if you were home so she could rant and rave, I'm sure. And I would love to know the real reason that you were going to see her today. I tell her the truth. She doesn't believe me. Uh -huh. Jenny, that woman's been going through absolute hell. It's heartbreaking. I, it is so... Did you hear that? My heart was breaking. First, her daughter denounces her in front of practically the whole town, and then Herb walks out on her and files for Which was a terrific choice, because Dorian is a first-class liar, manipulator, and cheat, and I cannot believe that Herb lasted this long. And to long. top it off, uh, Cassie walks out on her, so have a little you compassion, will you? cannot undo all of the things that she did, especially to herself. No, but at least I can ease her mind about our kid. <laughs> It was Cassie's decision to leave. No, no, no. Vicky and I ganged up on Dorian to mm, get the board mm. to give her that theater job. Otherwise, Cassie would not be working there, and I hope I don't live to regret that uh -huh, decision. And that is another thing I'd like to talk to you about. <clears throat> well, you made this decision so quickly. All of a sudden, you, you know, she's living with us, and then I find out she's the caretaker at the theater. That's very weird. Why didn't we just wait until we got a bigger place, and then both girls could have their own Hey, lives? there wasn't time. You were, at the, you were at Michelle's school meeting and the, when the board met. I had to make a decision. You're right. You're absolutely right. And you made a good decision. And the other good thing that came out of all of this was that we enrolled Michelle at Landview High. Now, are you going to... How was your first day to Jeff Ron? So, let's hear it from Landview High. Hey! Is that much to tell? Not much to tell on your first day? There's nothing? It was okay. It was, it was okay? Just okay? What about... Uh, did you meet any nice kids? Any potential buddies? Or... I told you nothing! Is that enough for you? I'm just sick of you guys asking me all these questions! Glad I caught you. I'm on my way out, but I'm expecting a very important visitor in a couple of hours. Get a cabin ready and keep an eye out for him in case I'm not back in time. Wait a minute, what do you mean, visitor? We're still leaving for the Caribbean soon, aren't we? Things have changed some. In fact, I'm not sure when we're leaving now. Don't play games with me, Chapin. You owe me. Rather bad form to remind a gentleman of his debts, don't you think? No, I think some gentlemen need reminding. Now, it could be dangerous to let things slide too long. Not as dangerous as trying to threaten me, Bowden. Uh, you might put some champagne on ice for our guest, Stuart. My guest this afternoon has been Charlie Haas, the well-known sportscaster who will be broadcasting live and via satellite the Landview Cougars games for this football season and for many seasons to come, we hope. Uh, Charlie, we're just about out of time, but do you have a few words to say to our audience before we leave? Well, I'd just like to say how much I'm looking forward to this coming season, Dorian, and to tell our viewers that, uh, that we have three great factors in our favor. The Cougars who have the depth and the talent, their great coach, Joe Barton, who just might take them to the Super Bowl this season, and all the folks at WVLE and Buchanan Enterprises who have been so instrumental in putting this uh, satellite deal together. I think this could open up a whole new world for Landview, Pennsylvania, and for yours truly, Charlie Huss. Ah, thank you very much, Charlie. You'll be seeing a lot of Charlie this season. And, um, well, from all of us here at View on Landview, we hope you have a very pleasant afternoon.